Today on Stuart Cox Family News. Nine people were killed and a presidential candidate was briefly taken to the hospital after a stage collapse under heavy winds at a campaign rally in Mexico when gusty winds suddenly picked up and changed direction from nearby thunderstorms. Now let's see the clip. The number of injured in that terrifying stage collapse in Mexico has now risen to 70 people. It all happened at a presidential candidate's rally. You can see the structure and that large screen fall right onto the audience. They're blaming a strong wind gust that came through. Nine people, including a minor, are now dead. CNN's Stefano Posban is with us now once more. Stefano, what more are you learning? Well, Kate, we're learning that at least 70 people are being treated for injuries in relation to that tragedy. Thankfully, no more death toll updates. Nine people have been killed. One of them, just like you said, is a minor. But in the early hours of this uh, Thursday, Kate, we're learning from CNN weather team in Atlanta what could possibly have happened for this stage to collapse. They sent us in the last hour a fresh new report uh, about the conditions in Monterey, saying that the stage was impacted by a gust from they said which is when gusty winds push out in all directions from thunderstorm and that these can cause winds to suddenly pick up and if you see those terrifying images that we're receiving from social media across Mexico you can see that the wind is very sudden that the candidates were on the stage singing and chanting campaign slogans when all of a sudden the winds suddenly pick up and cause the stage to collapse now the main question hanging over Mexico this morning came is how could this event take place because we know that the Mexican Meteorological Service had issued a stark warning about this possibility with winds forecast to up to 40 miles per hour and late last night the Mexican presidential candidate Jorge Alvarez Menas who was on that stage said that such a tragedy was very hard to forecast take a listen to what he said what happened was a strong wind that must have lasted five minutes maximum. It took down trees, tents, there's a lot of news coverage about it. The disaster that caused this accident was not a common weather event. It wasn't an ongoing storm. It wasn't a predictable weather event, as it has been speculated. Now, Kate, the, Kate, this tragedy has uh, cast a somber shadow on the entire Mexican campaign. The Mexicans will hold to the polls uh, on June the 2nd to elect a new candidate, uh, a new president after Andres Manuel López Obrador. Kate? Stefano, thank you very much for the reporting.